Hey everybody, we're taking a look at the verse of the day using the YouVersion Bible app. Today's verse is Psalm 119, verse 2. It says this, Blessed are those who keep His statutes and seek Him with all of their hearts. Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the whole Bible. It's the longest psalm that there is. And basically every verse talks about the Word of God. It reminds us over and over and over again how important God's Word is to us. And this passage is a great description of that. It's a great summary of really that whole chapter. That God's Word actually makes us blessed if we seek it with all of our hearts. You know, uh, Scripture gives us direction. It gives us wisdom. But also gives us the story. It tells us the story of who God is. How the world was created. Why we're here. It tells us what God is like and how God feels about us and how God uh, searches out for His people, how He loves them and seeks after them and calls them to Himself. It tells us a story of how uh, God came into our world so that we could be redeemed and that we could know Him. It tells us a story of how we can be changed. It tells us a story of how we can have purpose in our life and a hope in a future. Scripture gives us that story, and and then Scripture gives us direction, how to live in response to that, how to live this out in in a way that will bless bless those around us and provide fulfillment for us. It gives us all kinds of direction. In fact, a lot of Scripture really deals with kind of uh, uh, journey language. It's about a path. It's about walking in the right way. In fact, Psalm 119 at one part says, your your word lights my path, right? It gives me the direction of the ways that I should walk. And in fact, most of Scripture deals with that saying, be on this path towards God to to live out the character of God. To to be a disciple is is to be like Christ. And so it gives the, the, uh, the picture of how do we walk in that way. And it tells us that sometimes we get off and we kind of stray away. And when it does, it says we can sort of get off the path. We go the wrong direction. In fact, the word for sin is to miss. It's to miss the mark. It's to get off the direction. And when that happens, it tells us that we can, and then it uses this other word, repent. And that word repent simply means to turn back, to correct your course, to get on the right path. Scripture, from the beginning to the end, guides us in the path that we should live. The problem is, you know, there's a lot of scripture that I love and that I, I, I get inspired by. There's a lot of scripture where I, I want to write the quote out and uh, paint it up, you know, put it on a picture and post it up on my wall. I, I be, I'm inspired by that when I see it in the morning. I want to live that out and live that way. It sounds good and exciting. There's a lot of scripture when I see it, I go, oh yeah, that's right. That'll be fun to do. That'll be a good way to live. The problem are those passages that I don't want to live out. You know, the ones that remind me that the things that I'm doing really aren't God's way. That some of the values that I have, well, they're really not God's values, they're mine. You know, the the, the pesky passages that remind me that that there are people that I'm supposed to care about that I don't want to care about. There there are people I'm supposed to extend uh, forgiveness to that I, I don't want to forgive. There are perspectives of grace that I should have when I really don't want to have grace in that situation. You know, Scripture reminds me that I'm supposed to see people through God's eyes as His children, but there's some people I don't want to see that way. Scripture often corrects me, corrects my direction. This passage reminds us that, that if we would live that way, if we would live according to God's Scripture, if we live that out even when we don't want to, that provides joy in our life. That we'll be blessed by that. That in the long run, we'll, we'll find fulfillment doing that. But guys, that's hard to do. In order to do it, we have to submit ourselves to the Scripture. To say, God, I, I you know, maybe don't want it, but it's your way, not my way. And I'm going to live by your word. Well, I'm so glad you're willing to take time to study Scripture with me just a little bit every day because this will impact how you live. 
if we want to live out God's word, if we want to have this uh, blessing in our life, we've got to study scripture. And this is a great way to do it. So thanks for joining me uh, and taking a look every day at God's word. I want to pray for you now that, that you would live it out. God, today, would you help us to actually live these words out? To submit to your word, to your precepts, to your scripture, to your wisdom and your direction. And actually follow that every day of our life. We pray this in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for taking a look at the verse of the day with me today. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.